In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create a moving reference line. To start, the data set that we're going to be using is from the Federal Reserve, and it has observations for every date, and it has an effective federal fund rate. Notice that this data is kind of messy at the top. So the first thing we're going to do is in Tableau 9, which was released today, we're going to go ahead and connect to data. We're going to pick Excel, and we're going to pick the Fred graph. And what you'll notice is Tableau says, notices that the data doesn't look quite right. It sees that you know, there is a bunch of garbage at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the data interpreter. And what you'll notice is Tableau cleaned the data up really nicely. So I'm just going to go ahead and rename this field to date. Hit OK. Make it an extract. And let's give it a new name. I'm just going to call it Fred Graph. And then go ahead and go to my sheet. All right, excellent. So what I want to do is I want to start building a view. So I'm going to option drag date to the columns and pick day. And I'm going to put our effective fund rate on the rows. OK, that's great. And you can see that I've already pre-built a parameter that says choose a reference date. And it's a date parameter. So let's go ahead and show that parameter control. And this, this, will, nice, this will easily let the user you know, pick a date from a calendar. So maybe let's pick August 6th of 2013. And what I want to do is I want to draw a reference line for that date. So I'm going to right click on my date axis and pick add reference line. Do it for the entire table. And the, the value that I'm going to choose is my uh, choose a reference date parameter. I don't want to label it and maybe I'll make it a dashed line. Hit OK. And that's beautiful. Now we have this nice little moving reference line. So I can maybe put in 2015 here instead, pick a date, and you'll see my reference line moved. I can, put, I can pick any date I want. So maybe let's pick 2011, maybe September 11th. And there we go. We have a nice little reference line moving along. But one of the things that I like to do is I like to color code my line based on whether or not it is older than the reference date or newer than the reference date. So to do that, I'm going to create a calculated field. I'm going to call it just before or after. And my, my formula is really simple. It's just date is less than or equal to reference date. Hit OK. And then I'm going to drag that new true false dimension to the color shelf. And there you go. So now if I put in 2012, you'll see that my date moves nicely. Or if I put in 2014, you'll see everything changes accordingly. So that's it for this week's tip. I hope you enjoyed it.